Howdy friends, welcome to the gates of hell, or is it the hell of gates? It appears that the New World Order has at last admitted its existence and agenda. Despite a narrative by Wikipedia that New World Order, or NWO, is claimed to be an emerging clandestine totalitarian world government by various conspiracy theories. The common theme in conspiracy theories about a New World Order is that a secretive power elite with a globalist agenda is conspiring to eventually rule the world through an authoritarian world government which will replace sovereign state, nation states and an all-encompassing propaganda whose ideology hails the establishment of the New World Order as the culmination of history's progress. Many influential historical and temporary figures have therefore been alleged to be part of a cabal that operates through many front organisations to orchestrate significant political and financial events, ranging from causing systemic crisis to pushing through controversial policies at both national and international levels, as steps in an ongoing plot to achieve world domination. Well, what can I say? Systemic crisis. In finance, systemic risk is the risk of collapse of an entire financial system or entire market as opposed to risk associated with any one individual entity, group or comp component of a system that can be contained therein without harming the entire system. It can be defined as financial system instability. Out of these troubled times, our fifth objective, a new world order, can emerge. I think a new world order is emerging, and with it the foundations of a new and progressive era of international cooperation. We have resolved that from today, we will together manage the process of globalization. Okay, I'm searching for one of these banners here. Just to see what Wikipedia says about the New World Order. And I did come across this video as an example, oddly. Lax shooting suspect reference New World Order conspiracy. 333. I'll put a link to this. This is what I wanted, just this link but i'm gonna play this video now mental illness seems to be at the center of many of these shootings and ben tracy learned more today about the strange beliefs of the alleged la airport killer the fbi agents who searched paul ciancia's apartment had a search warrant for his cell phone they found it in his roommate's car the warrant states they were looking for information relating to Ciancia's views on the legitimacy or activities of the United States government, including the existence of a plot to impose a new world order, plot to impose a new world order, plot to impose a new world order. Shortly after the rampage, police say they found a one-page letter in Ciancia's bag. It said he targeted TSA agents to, quote, instill fear in your traitorous minds, and also mentioned NWO, or New World Order. That's a century-old conspiracy theory, conspiracy theory, conspiracy theory, according to Mark Potok, who tracks extremist groups. Basically identifies the federal government uh, as an evil malefactor that is involved in a conspiracy to force the United States uh, into a so-called one world government. Uh, known as the New World Order. People who believe this theory are deeply suspicious of international organizations such as the United Nations, the United Nations, the United Nations, and think the government plans a national seizure of all guns. They believe uh, that the federal government intends to impose martial law on the country any moment now. 
that that martial law will be imposed with the aid of foreign troops, probably U.N. blue helmets. Online talk shows perpetuate these anti-government views. A federal security goon force. And often mention TSA officers. Okay, let's get back to the hell of gates. United Nations New World Order website. Let's take our planet back, shall we? Who's got it at the moment? Who are we taking it back from? Is this directed at the 99.99% against the 0.1%? I hope so. What's it all about? The United Nations New World Order Project is a global high-level initiative founded in 2008 and led by Jamie Illien and Ndaba Mandela to advance a new economic paradigm and a new world order for humankind, which achieves the UN's glo global goals for sustainable development by 2030, Agenda 2030, and the happiness, well-being and freedom of, of all life on Earth by 2050. What does it mean? Initiatives. Capitalism. Unido happiness. UN global goals. What's all that about? Let's see what UN global goals is all about. Advancing a new economic, economic paradigm of capitalism. For humanity means mobilizing 30 trillion dollars towards achieving the 17 UN global goals 169 targets by 2030 join us the global goals for sustainable development the 17 goals in 2015 world leaders agreed to 17 Global Goals, officially known as the Sustainable Development Goals or SDGs. These goals have the power to create a better world by 2030, by ending poverty, fighting inequality and addressing the urgency of climate change. Guided by the goals, it is now up to all of us, governments, businesses, civil society and the general public to work together to build a better future for everyone. Well, surely that's what we've been doing since the dawn of government, isn't it? What have we got? No to poverty. Zero hunger. Good health and well-being. I'm not going to go to any of these. It's just propaganda. Quality education. Gender equality, clean water and sanitation, affordable and clean energy, decent work and economic growth, industry innovation and infrastructure, reduced inequalities, sustainable cities and communities. Well, we know what that is. That's a smart city. Everybody in one place responsible consumption and production well if we're relying on government that have no sense particularly in the food chain we don't need a government made up of people that have vested interests climate action life below water life on land peace justice and strong institutions we should have that already. Partnerships for goals. Get involved. Everyone can contribute to making sure the global goals are met. Here you can read more about the goals, find organisations to support and information to share. Anyone can change the world. Welcome to join the movement. No thanks. Spread the word, support us, questions and answers, stay updated, what's happening in 2020? It's crunch time, 
Progress has been made, but nowhere near enough to achieve the global goals. We need everyone to come together and make this super year of action for people and for planet. See some of them below and find more in the news and actions section. Why are they pushing the globe when everybody knows it's not true? Published 1st of May 2020. Five reasons why the global goals are the best plan to build back better. Alice MacDonald is a director of policy and campaigns at Project Everyone the organization behind the Global Goals campaign. She has spent the past 15 years working. Climate Action, Life on Land, Earth Day, April the 22nd. Earth Day is a stark reminder that we are behind on achieving the global goals, but it's also an opportunity to focus on the ur urgent action needed to protect our people. Who are our people? It sounds like there it's an ownership. Our people do one. Sustainable development goals. Published on April 6th, 2020. Statement by the Secretary General's SDG Advocates and SDG Advocate Alumni on COVID-19. The Secretary General's SDG Advocates and SDG Advocate Alumni today jointly released the following statement regarding the COVID-19 planned pandemic. Okay. We, the United Nations Secretary General Sustainable Development Goals, advocates and alumni are greatly concerned by the novel coronavirus outbreak and the impact it is having in every corner of the globe. Corner of a globe? How can you have a corner of a globe? This is why I'm not putting my hands in the, my life in the hands of First, whoever this is, Secretary General, and definitely not putting my life in the hands of the United Nations if they don't know that a, a globe doesn't have a corner. We stand in solidarity with those affected. Blah, 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 sycophantic bull. I'll leave a link to everything here. Global, regional, national and local level policy responses to the outbreak must be designed with a gender lens. What's a gender lens? And pay special attention to those living in extreme poverty with disabilities, indigenous communities, the homeless, refugees and internally displaced persons. Since when has the government really cared about people that live in extreme poverty? about people with disabilities, about indigenous communities, like the homeless, refugees. When are they ever given two hoots about these people? They don't, and they ever will. Responses must be equitable and reach the digitally isolated. Digitally, we don't need digitally. Leaders must protect civic space in their countries to ensure policy responses are transparent and inclusive. Particular attention must be given to addressing rising level, levels of domestic violence caused by too much stress in the world, caused by governments. We don't want one fucking great big government. We don't even want little ones. Just get rid of them. Vulnerable countries. Leaders, we're not, these leaders are selected, we don't elect them. This is just a load of rubbish. It really is. I'll leave a link to this. I have little interest in it. Apart from the fact that, um, I just want to see who's involved and how many people are biting this flipping poison apple. The global goals 
campaign would not be possible without the enlightened and generous support of our partners. We would like to thank the following. Have a guess. Oh. Oh. Gets everywhere, this. Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, they get everywhere. Avanti, 2030 Vision. Google, Go Ogle. MasterCard, Sales Force. Force.org and UNICEF. None of none of these I would trust with my life. Partners. Coca-Cola. Peddling toxicity. Accepted by governments. Hasbro. Microsoft. Bill Gates again. Nike. Sweatshop. Salesforce again, SAP Unilever, chemical companies, supporters, action for sustainable development. That looks like a fingerprint there, doesn't it? That's probably because what it is. Arts 2030, Blue Marine Foundation, global citizen. I don't live on a globe. Cog X, that looks like a brain. Those look like wires and those look like some sort of electrodes. The British Council. I am the code. There's a butterfly there. The code. Civicus. Civicus. Common goal. The lion's share. Six. 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 Micro bit. I don't like the sound of that. Freud's. Frauds. Catapult Ocean. The Global Goals World Cup. The New Division. There's always a division. It's them and us. We are the 99.9%. .9 one. We don't want one. We want diversity. M2020 National Youth Advocacy Service Samsung Part of that global spy network Purpose I said global then Sustainable Development Solutions Network A global initiative for the United Nations We don't trust the United Nations We don't trust UNESCO Stockholm Syndrome. United Nations DP. We don't trust United Nations. Whatever that is. T plus CO. Teach SDGs. TCC. And the World Wildlife Fund or Foundation. Code and Conspire. We're a group of digital experts working for a sustainable future. All aboard the train wreck company. No thanks. When United Nations agreed to 17 goals to create a better world by 2030, we had the task to take it online. Why no black and white here? Healthier cities with real-time data. This is a smart city. This is a smart grid. Award-winning website to explain something complex in an inspiring way. Is this a real picture of planet Earth? Must be. A new website for a Swedish institution, Unga Clara, bringing a splash of colour and seamless user experience. Well, that doesn't fool me. A text-based coach helping young women cope with everyday stress. Your planet is flourishing. An immense, an immersive mobile game that inspires citizens to collect environmental data. 
here to stop the hate. A troll factory for the good guys. You can't have a good troll by definition. A network of bots standing up for human rights. AI, artificial intelligence, standing up for human rights. Just getting in there, being nosy. Affecting and infecting. Let's solve a problem. Yes. Let's ditch the New World Order. I wasn't actually going to come in this deep, but let's go back to this. The global goals. Aye, aye. There you go. It says, should say it all, really. Dear world leaders, we are watching you. 20, 2020 campaigners unite to issue an open letter demanding the World Leaders Act to tackle the emergency facing people and planet. What a load of cods wallop. It's time to act for people and for planet. Our world and our future are under threat from persistent government letdown. Just get rid of them. Just get rid of them. See, using kids in a different way than they usually do. See, the next generation is the problem. That's what they're after. Us, we, I'm 55. As soon as we're out of the way, the, new, the newer generation will have a different perspective from upbringing. Life is getting worse. I haven't spoken with anybody older than me, all of the same age that thinks life's got better since we were children. Okay, so that was the UN Global Goals. What's capitalism? Capitalism is a new economic paradigm which places happiness, well-being and freedom at the centre of human development models, systems and all life. So why are we having to part with 5G then? if they're after our well-being and our freedom I haven't consented to it I haven't been asked about anything it's only freedom if it's class as freedom if you consent to whatever it is they're trying to do freedom of choice let's have a look at capitalism capitalism Capitalism, a new economic system, socio-political philosophy and human development paradigm which places the primary primacy of happiness, well-being and freedom at the centre of human development and all life. Well, it doesn't. It doesn't. How can they say and all life? Join us. No thanks. Abstract. Capitalism defining a new economic para paradigm and inquiry into the nature of the human condition and happiness there's jamie illian and louis gallardo founder and chief author ceo co-founder and co-author cmo i'm not putting my life in the hands of these people you can sign up to review the white paper i've already done that so that's what capitalism is. What's Unido Happiness? Founded in 2012, the United Nations International Day of Happiness recognizes happiness as a fundamental human right and goal and is celebrated every March the 20th, forever. This is a bit presumptuous, forever. Every day should be international day of happiness why only one 365th of a year these people are nuts this is when they let you out this one day they let you out to play for one day of the year out of your cell i'll have a look at that in a minute let's carry on down here i'm particularly interested in unido happiness as you will see why Advancing a new economic paradigm of capitalism since 2008. A great revolution is waiting for us. 
The revolution is going round and round. Same old shit. Different day. The crisis. Which crisis we on about? Doesn't only make us free to imagine other models, another future, another world. It obliges us to do so. So what crisis was in 28? 28. Don't know. Making an impact across the globe or around the globe? Is it across the flat earth or around the globe? 10 billion people happy by 2050. Again, a bit presumptuous. Every March 20th since 2012, all 7.8 billion fellow members of the global human family living in 206 countries and territories celebrate happiness as a fundamental human right and goal and capitalism as a new economic paradigm for humanity. Well, they got that wrong. I hadn't heard of it before. I may have once and then questioned why is there only one day of the year that everybody's allowed to be happy. Join us there. No thanks. Okay, let's have a look at United Nations International Day of Happiness. Happiness for all together. Let's unite and win the fight against COVID-19 by following this year's 10 Steps to Global Happiness for the 2020 International Day of Happiness. Happiness for all together. Let's stick together. Step one is to stick together. Well, how can we stick together with social distancing? We're all in this together and we will get through. Listen, there's two types of person. There's a 99.99% and then there's a 0.1%. They, the 0.01%, don't want to be stuck with us. You know that? They hate us. They literally hate us. Global unity, collective action and a joint response to the COVID-19 coronavirus are key to winning the fight against this global pandemic and threat to humanity. Let's stick together. No. Follow who advice. Step two is to follow the World Health Organization's advice and guidance. Wash hands, physical distancing, stay at home, avoid large crowds, and let's work together to flatten the curve. Follow World Health Organization advice. Well, the World Health Organization is primarily mainly funded by Bill Gates. So no, I won't follow World Health Organization advice. some stuff here this is uh, happiness is contagious step four is to stay social online and do what it makes you do what makes you happy spread joy around the world well please just governments just get away just go and die look at this idiot I can't really take much more of this. I really can't. Let's get back to this International Day of Happiness, March the 20th. Founded in 2012. Let's have a look. So, United Nations International Day of Happiness was founded on March 20th, 2012. March 20, 2012, which is the third month, 20th day of 2012. Now zero plus three equals three, two plus zero equals two, 
2 plus 0 equals 2, and 1 plus 2 equals 3. And that gives us a 3, 2, 2, and a 3, 2, 2 reversed. The 3, 2, 2 is synonymous with skull and bones. What is skull and bones, you ask? Let's have a look at Wiki. Okay, for those of you that aren't aware of 322 and the Skull and Bones, this is uh, Wikipedia's page on Skull and Bones, so it must be true. Skull and Bones, the order, Order 322, or the Brotherhood of Death, is an undergraduate senior secret student society at Yale University in New Haven, Connecticut, the oldest senior class society at the university. Skull and Bones has become a cultural institution known for its powerful alumni and various conspiracy theories. It is one of the big three societies at Yale, the other two being Scroll and Key, which is a secret society founded in 1842 at Yale University in New Haven, Connecticut, and is one of the oldest Yale secret societies and reputedly the most wealthy. And Wolf's Head Society, which is a senior society at Yale University again, membership recomposes annually with 16 Yale University students, typically rising seniors. The delegation spends its year together answerable, answerable to the alumni. Okay. The society's alumni organization, the Russell Trust Association, II, owns the organization's real estate and oversees the membership. The society is known informally as Bones, and members are, oft, are, are known as Bonesmen, members of the order or initiated to the order. An alumnus or alumnae of a college university or other school is a former student who has either attended or graduated in some fashion from the institution. The word is Latin and simply means student. The plural is alumni, for men and mixed groups of alumni. Okay, go. Secret societies. A little bit of history. Skull and Bones was founded in 1832 after a dispute among Yale debating societies, Linonia brothers in unity and the Calliopean Society over that season's Phi Beta Kappa Awards. I'll leave a link to this, I'm not going through it. The most important thing is the Brotherhood of Death. Okay, so this year was March the 20th, 2020. Third month 20th day, 2020, which equals 0 plus 3 equals 3, 2 plus 0 equals 2, 2 plus 0 equals 2, and 2 plus 0 equals 2. So what we have is 3, 2, 2, plus 3 multiplied by 2 equals 6, 3 multiplied by 2 equals 6, and 3 multiplied by 2 equals 6. That gives us 6, 6, 6. Strange. That's this year. Now next year, the year of Agenda 21, International, United International Day of Happiness falls on March the 20th, 2021 which gives us the third month, the 20th day of 2021, which again gives us 0 plus 3 equals 3, 2 plus 0 equals 2, 2 plus 0 equals 2, 
and 2 plus 1 equals 3. Again, we have a 3, 2, 2 and a 3, 2, 2 in reverse. Again, skull and bones. What does it mean? Okay, let's take a quick look at Gematria calculator. United Nations International Day of Happiness. Let's have a look at the rude words. Calculate. And 2007-2850-475. Don't really ring any bells with me. But, uh, it's not in our Gematria database. So let's add it. For the benefit of everyone. We calculate. Okay. Nothing of interest for me there. Let's have a look at Unido. The initials. Ah. It's not in our Gematra database either. So we'll add that. And we've got 311 Jewish Gematria, which is slightly interesting. The Beast, London Bridge, Mega Millions, Billions, Trillions, Zillions, how much they're wasting of taxpayers' money that doesn't really exist. Trans. Trans, <laughs> okay, do telepathic god of earth. We've got create panic, an economic plan, create planic, economic planic. It's part of the plan, economic collapse. The three ego trip, yeah, we know who's on an ego trip at the moment. Hat trick, that's another three, and it's magic. Let's have a quick look at English, simple Gematria, Babylon, Moses, Apollo. Ryan, Catholic, mm hmm. Quran, mm hmm. Smart, and Target, Mossad, Royal, Hidden Code. And hidden hand, hidden code, hidden hand. We know who use those things. Let's have a look at Gematronator with Unido, seeing as they got the 311. All ciphers. We pause this if you want to look at it. There's the Jewish 311. I'll leave links. Unido. Happiness. Let's have a look at the value. It's not in our database. And it equals 666. Who'd have thought? Coincidence? Irony? Delusional BS? Definitely intriguing. Let's have a little look. Prophecy. This is a hoax and the serpent bearer. The serpent bearer being the snake and star, much as this.
the mind control agenda of the CIA. Who'd have thought? All eyes on me, the gates of hell are open, or the hell of gates are open. Rising from the flames. Human God possible. A master hacker of the mind. His name is Turd. Die hard kill Goyim. Ah. It's not very nice. Hmm. Child magic fetish sinners. Okay, now let's have a look at Unido Happiness, which is their title, official. We've got the Jewish 666 here. For those interested, we'll have a little look at the properties of 666. And there they are. Pause it if you want. Have another quick look here. Pause this if you want. I'm not going to hang around. Look it out. Now, if you need any kind of confirmation that Scripture, the Holy Bible, has any credence, or you're kind of sitting on the fence regarding Jesus, the Messiah, the Christ, heed Revelation. Chapter 13, verses 16 to 18. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred, three score and six. Now a score is twenty, three score is sixty, so we've got six hundred and sixty-six. Please understand that Jesus is the light of the world and the truth will set you free.